Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome. Hello, hello. What's up, Sam? Number one, dude. Thank you. Thank you for being the first person here today. Appreciate you, man. Okay, I think I'm good. We got this going. Yeah. Make sure you guys hit the like. Say hello in the chat. Share us out. You know the drill. I ain't got to repeat myself, do I? 2K, K, 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 K. Sub Carlos, Axel, welcome in. Having some pub subs. Yo, that sounds really good, but we're doing leftovers tonight because we have food in the freezer. Um, I'm sorry I'm like a couple minutes late, guys. So I had some audio trouble. Um, and also uh, I had a sneezing attack right for the stream. <laughs> so yeah, sneeze attacks suck. Beep, beep, beep. But since I used the secret menu, I considered it cheating. So at the end of the game, it said, now beat it without cheating. <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. No way. Oh, those games. They're self-aware. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, it took away my health. Yo, Axel, thank you for being the first star send of the day. Tony, what's up, my dude? Ooh. Today is a... I have no idea what to play today. I feel like that's like every day. I just didn't feel like playing fighting games. I was... I thought about it. Even Mrs. Blast was like, you should play a fighting game today. I'm like, eh. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. Welcome in. So I just let that go to the wayside. What's up, Michael? How are you feeling, man? What's up, John? I haven't seen that in 20 plus years now. It was hilarious. Fuck my chair. My chair was uh, rocking back and I didn't like it. I may have to tighten some something down on it. I don't know, some screw or something. Who knows? Who's racing at him today? Nobody, just me. Me, myself, and I. That's it, man. Just me. What's up, kid? Yeah, get him. What's up, Steve? Welcome in. Jeremy, welcome in. Mackie with 30. Let's go. Anna Star's party's been triggered already. Let's go. How are you guys and gals today? I hope everyone had a okay Thursday. It's been one of those days for me today, so not bad, not great. Kind of wish it was Friday already, but what am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? So thank you for the like, Steve. Appreciate it, man. What's up, Shayna? Welcome in, girlfriend. Ready for the wife to get home and finish planning uh, plans. Celebrate news from Dr. Cancer Free, because you know why? And I'm going to say this because it personally affected my family fuck cancer I, I drop an f-bomb i'm sorry guys i can't help it but it has personally affected us and our family and it sucks so what's up jeff thank you for the likes don't forget guys if we hit that stars party uh i will destroy my taste buds either with hot sauce or sour candy i guess i don't know whatever you guys choose i had to save Mega Man's ass again because he's not as good as zero yeah. But we're going to start with X because, I don't know, it's easier, I guess. I don't know. Mackie with 800. Let's go. What is that? Gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal. Man bicycle. My, man bicycle. Man bicycle. I can't see what the last three are. I don't know what the heck that is. But if anyone here has had a family member or themselves struggle with it, um, I feel for you. I really do. My cousin died when he was 24. Yeah, man. One time, it is only acceptable. F cancer, for reals. Yo, John, we got your Mega Man game today, by the way. Yeah! So, Mrs. Blast will be getting First that. First place medal, second place medal, third place medal, bicyclist, woman biking, woman biking, woman mountain biking, medium dark skin tone person, mountain biking, dark skin tone person, mountain biking, dark skin tone male sign. Oh, dark skin tone male sign, got it. We got your game today, so we're going to make sure we pack that up very soon and throw some extra stuff in there for you, man. My Thursday was blah. I took the afternoon off work. Had a customer call me the N-word. Wow. 2023. And these freaking idiots are still... <sighs> what can you do, man? What can you do? Yep. Beyond happy to move forward. That's it, man. I hope your day, other than that crap, was okay, Austin. Some douche nugget hit my mailbox today, guys. And I live on a side street where you really shouldn't have a need to come back here unless maybe you're doing construction work. I have no idea. But some douche nugget literally hit my mailbox today. And they 
bent it sideways and I see paint scrapes all on the side of it. And I'm like, I don't even know how you would do that unless you just drive like an asshole. I'm sorry, it just makes me mad thinking about it. So it does exist. What's up, Leonard? Oh my goodness. So yeah, that was like, I went to go take my pups out and I'm like, why is my mailbox like this to the side? And I didn't see any immediate damage, so I walked up to it, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's all I can do. You're good, Mackie, no worries, man. We lived on our at our old house on a main stretch of road for 12 years. Only had our mailbox hit twice. We're here less than three months, and my mailbox has already been hit by some butthole who doesn't know how to drive a truck. And I know it was a truck with, with their tow mirrors out because you can't get that close to it. I mean, unless you really do suck at driving, but at that height, it was a truck. So yeah, Fast and Furious, Blast Drift, that's how. Yeah, that's the only way I can think of, man. That's it. That's the only thing I got. I couldn't believe it. What's up, Ben? So I don't know, like it bothered me for a bit. And then I realized that like, there's no point in getting upset because I have no control over it at all. So chill, Mr. Bean. No, 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 you chill. Don't tell me to chill, you chill. <clears throat> Set that mailbox on an eight-foot pole buried four feet in the ground with concrete. <laughs> Other than setting settling me back 50 years, my day wasn't that bad. Yeah, that sucks, man. People just got to be stupid like that. I'm sorry you had to deal with that today, man. Just say at work. Like, we're just anywhere. Just, just anywhere. I don't get it. Kirby, hi to everyone. <laughs> oh, you freaking hit me with bombs. We're kind of going the hard route here with Mega Man. That's okay. Zero can actually get this right away. You know what? I should switch to him real fast. Because I th think he's got a double jump here. What's up, Reuben? Oh, I do have a double jump. Okay. Ugh, there we go. Yeah. All right, we switch back to Mega Man. I'm going to do that. That mailbox will never move again, even Godzilla. <laughs> My old mailbox survived a 180 mile an hour winds. We had the hurricane six, seven months ago. And, uh... It wasn't a bad mailbox, it was just old, you know? And then today it's like, oh, someone's like, oh yeah, let's challenge that. So there we go. What's up, Derek? Ugh, there we go. Almost didn't make that. Good reason to stop. People are ignoring with that language, shouldn't be hearing that. I know, man, it's ridiculous. And bad drivers hitting mailboxes. It sucks, I don't have any cameras in front of my house and all this, so I couldn't even see remotely who could have done it. But, you know, it is what it is. Extra abilities that regular Mega Man doesn't. Yeah, he's awesome. Kirby, hide everyone. Oh, no, I'm, nope, no, no. You're not going to get me with it. No, sir. No, no, no. I felt naughty listening to you drop that bomb. Anyway, started Ocarina of Time again. Ask me why. It's the same reason why I play it sometimes. Because it's a fun game, number one. Number two, in the world of streaming, it gets a lot of views. So why not? So, hi, Catherine. They made two more of these. They could name the, se the second one. Mega Man Double X, and it could build the creation of Copy X. That'd be really cool. Double X. Yeah. Get him. Don't forget, tonight, uh, subscribers, we are playing Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. Holy moly, haven't played that game in a hot minute. So that'll be fun. I got it all tested and working with the Switch thing on my computer. <laughs> I actually own the game, but I wanted to play it on my PC instead, so... It runs great in uh, 60 FPS. Like how all Switch games would look so much better if they ran at a higher frame rate than 30, other than Switch and Mar or, uh, Smash and Mario Kart. I'll hit him with the Ice Beam. Here we go. Stab. That they constantly, instantly canceled all lies. Oh, cancels pest control, roam control, fertilizer account. You want me to go beat the guy up and talk to him, talk him down? <laughs> You should have just sprayed him with the uh, the chemicals you guys use on lawns and all that. Oh yeah, it feels great on the skin, man. It tastes wonderful too. Could have mixed in a little bit of the what's that? That iron, that that orange reddish powder that you got. And we put in the chemicals to give the grass some iron. I think it was. Yeah, it's it stained everything. It's insane. You have Uno. <laughs> sure does. I should have got 4.6 of this, but I got 4.4. Unibeam. If I vacuumed today, Mrs. Blast, I would have told you. Trust me. I'm very proud of myself when I do that. 
Disney Speedstorm. I know of it, but I've never played it, though. Yeah, we saved our file. Love this ROM hack. It's awesome. <clears throat> okay, so we got Ice Power now. It's the seahorse. Why do I got to kill a seahorse? <clears throat> she rolls her eyes. I told you. I would have... I told you. Oh, God. I back him today. Yeah, I got to do that tomorrow. A couple other honey-do list things to do today. I feel like I moved my camera today, but I did not. If you guys haven't yet, please hit the like button. Let's always make sure that that is working. I don't know if Facebook notifications are working. It, do it shows on my side when I went live, so that's good. And then uh, if you guys could, let me know how you knew I went live today. Was it Facebook or was it Discord? Because, uh, you know, I want everyone to say, yo, I, got I knew you were live because of Discord. Even if you're not a subscriber, I would love for you guys to join the Discord at the very least to get live notifications every time I go live. Seahorse, what about Forest Scorpion? That actually sounds like a really cool animal, by the way. What's up, Dean? Welcome in, my dude. Oh, you punker. Always Discord size sub. See? Yeah. You have to because they are backwards and the males are the ones who get pregnant. Ugh. Oh, my God. Well... That makes sense then, <laughs> I think. I wonder if a uh, toxic seahorse knows that. Maybe not because he's toxic. Not in a very good mood all the time. Facebook ones are not working, Discord are. See, I knew it. What's up, Tito? Welcome in, man. That is true, that is also true. But yeah, so if you guys want the Discord, I'm gonna drop it in the chat right now. Even if you're not a subscriber, please join our notifications Discord. I'm slightly debating, and I haven't told Mrs. Blast this yet, she's about to find out. I'm slightly debating opening up one of those chats, of the text chats for the non-subscribers. But we'll see, though. We'll see. If I can get to know you guys. This way you guys can maybe think about getting all of the Discord. You never know. What's up, Kyle? I wanted to do so badly, I wanted to fertilize and spray his driveway so the fertilizer would melt into it. I wanted to do evil things of this effort, but they sent me home because they knew I want to do something to this guy and seeing as... Yeah, it's not worth it, man. If you do that, you're no better than they are. It ain't worth it. Hey, Joshy. I was thinking about you today, man, when I played this, or when I started streaming it today, so... I'm doing okay, man. Thank you for asking. Facebook did work yesterday, and it's back to being broken. Uh... It's the joke channel, isn't it? Oh, maybe. Seeing as all my jobs were in the same area today, I would have done nothing but had time. Yeah. See, that's a good that's a good company, though, if they do the scheduling correctly. They actually will put you in the same area the entire day, so you're not driving from here to here to here to here to here to go get a pest control job done. He's more plasma scythe. Well, I could play X4. I've been on such a Mega Man kick lately. I hope you guys don't mind. I don't ever miss Sonic streams, though, at least, you know? So there's that. I know I'm no better, way better than he is. That's why I went home because it was lesser of two evils. Exactly, see? You're way better than people like that. That's how it be, man. I gotta drive home. Doesn't see you. Now look, even though you're handsome because I gotta be safe. Yes, please be safe, Joshy. I've seen New Jersey drivers down here and they're awful. Not saying you're awful, I'm saying other people are awful. Everything working on Facebook all at once is akin to finding a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> you know what, Ben? I agree with you, sir. You gotta level up and become a subscriber to get all the Discord fun and perks. Maybe. I'm just gonna open it up for everybody. I'll let everybody join. <laughs> <laughs> to be like the hell you are what's up Gert welcome in buddy sure we'll take him out even with this oh wow yeah he will die from that zero is a big clunky sprite in this one yeah is this a mod yes it is Mega Man X3 the zero project the crew are getting me back Basic, the crew, wait, the crew, the crew are getting me back basics, Morvania on the docket, Mucho, Jay, and Mackie Boyd. The crew.
crew are getting me i think you did you did you mean to say back to basics getting me back to basics orvania on the docket i told you that i told you that adam doesn't like plasma scythe or something no i do actually x4 is one of my favorites mr groove and i told you that sir play what you're comfortable with and enjoy it and love it and never ever change sir Comfort zones aside, you can venture out. You can venture out anything in general. But then you jump to another comfort zone. We get out of our comfort zone to jump to another comfort zone. You don't want to do that. You want to... Leaving you out. Wow. I know. I'm so mad. I'm upset. I'm so jelly. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. You got to put into that offline work, dude. Gots to do it. Bum, 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 bum. ACNH for me, yeah, uh, the ACNH community can be good and bad. I've seen some people go crazy because you're not doing that right. That type of stuff. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What works for me may not work for you and vice versa. Kirby the Forgotten World is great. I should go back and beat it. Yeah, I need to play it some more. It's actually a really fun game from what I've played. It works wonderfully on um, <clears throat> PC. Um, for Rizzles, man, it really does. What's up, Phil? Welcome in, my dude. Porter, give me. So you must say it. I feel like Ruben is leaving me out, even though I've done absolutely nothing to contribute. <laughs> no, you should just totally call him out and just... Yeah, just do one of those. I'm on my way. Yeah, you better be. Get over here, Mega Man. I mean, X. It's totally not Mega Man's X. My goodness. These guys are a pain. They take a lot of shots. There we go. I'd rather fight Rhino with X anyway because much smaller target. So, what are you at? Just leaving me out like that. I know, seriously. Seriously, man. Nosotros, los streamers, Latinos, tenemos que estar unidos porque somos hermanos. Cha, 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 cha. That's so Ruby. It needs to be a TV show, man. You need to copyright that. Make it a TV show. Oh, I just, yeah. Okay, so that right there shows you that you need to be careful when you jump over the spike pits with those. They'll push you right out, right down into death. The location thing, leave me out because I'm Welsh. I knew it. Oh, I got to fight um, homeboy here too. 113, 943 left to hit the monthly goal. Yeah, we're almost at 70% of the star goal. I can't believe it. Insane in the star goal brain. All right, so this guy's a little punky. Yeah. Oh, that was actually planned pretty well there. I'm going to get the Zelda OLED Switch next month and give my current Switch to my younger siblings. Oh. <clears throat> I also got to play the... Oh, yeah, the family plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that family plan is pretty cool, dude. It lets you get, like, what, eight people on your, your Switch account? Which, I mean, as long as you trust them, yeah, that's what really matters. What's up, Ken? Welcome in. Uh, what's up, Tito? How you doing, man? Arriba la raza! I miss Eddie Guerrero. He's such a good he was such a good wrestler. When they read my lesson plans, uh, I would have Ryan proofread all of your stuff before you give it to you give those to your students, sir. I would imagine, right? I thought you were Irish, Ben. Oh my god. Oh, my Shifu. <laughs> that was like me saying, Daniel, I thought you were Scottish. He's like, what? I'm English. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. I'm on ice. It was nice knowing y'all. Nah, but that's just a bus and a ferry ride. That's true. He's almost there. Oh, boy. Oh, Eddie Guerrero was one of my all-time... Me too, man. 
Anytime that man stepped into the ring, forget it. I was changing the channel. I was watching him the whole time. I guess I gotta fight that other mini boss too. This level's tough. You have to fight three bosses in this level if you go the route that I do. You gotta fight the bit, this mid boss, and then Rhino at the end. It's crazy. How do you ended up like that? The back gate exited the way you did was awesome. Wait, wait, wait. What back gate? What? What's up, Jose? Oh, when I was standing backwards and the gate opened because my foot was touching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust them. 13 and younger. Uh, youngest is six. Almost all my games are kid-friendly except for Borderlands and Duke Nukem. Oh, yeah, Duke Nukem. After you feed a bit. Yeah, yeah. I had to think about that. I'm like, wait a minute. And I was like, oh, yeah, my foot was stuck on the door. That's right. So this guy doesn't act sussy when I'm Mega Man. Only when I'm Zero. This is what he does. He tries to ram me with his big pointy the, the, the thing right there on the front of the tank here. Oh, punk. Now he's dead. Got him. Giggity. Yeah, I didn't... After I started talking about it, I'm like, I don't really know how to describe said app, spiky apparatus. I don't know. What's up, Brendan? Drill? He said, careful. Yeah, well, you guys should hear me on the subscriber streams. Good lord. There's really not much of a filter on me when I'm in those streams. What's up, Mace? Saw the Power Rangers remakes. Pretty okay. Oh, you did? I gave it a 8 out of 10, man. That was pretty good. Ugh. Crap. Oh, get away from me. Ouch. What's up, Tim? I don't know if I need... Yeah, I need a little bit of help here. What's up, Trent? Welcome in, dude. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yo, we just went over that 30 viewer tr threshold. Hell yeah. You guys haven't liked the stream. Become one of the cool kids and like that stream. Look us up. I used to love his frog splash. Yeah, he was awesome, dude. What up, Tim? Oh, dear lord. I was going to add a giggity to this, but you know. What's up, Blast? All I hear is sharp, pointy thing talk. Yeah, I... Again, if you guys want to see a more uncensored, unhinged version of me, Substreams is where it's at. That's all I'm saying. I tell you guys this all the time. Uh, I stream at least 12 times a week. <laughs> you only see half of them if you're not a page subscriber. Oh! Oh, there's the garage door guy. Finally! Yeah, someone's here to like look at our garage door because... It does a lot of pops and squeaks when it's opening. Um, oh! And uh, we're finally getting somebody here to come look at it, so... I'm supposed to be here between 2 and 4, but he's not that late. He's been a little busy, he said, but whatever. Um. I was gonna say, that better hit him. That drill better not hit me. What's up, Gil? Welcome in. Wait, I'm missing out on the real Mr. Blast? You are. I'm telling you, man. That sounds right. Yeah, that sound right. I'm serious, man. Yeah, we have uh, some pretty deep conversations. Um, like, just completely out of context. Last night, we were playing. I was playing RE4 Remake, and we started talking about OnlyFans. But not in the way you think. We were just talking about it in general. So, we have Street Fighter Champion Edition on the Genesis for the Switch. Yeah, I, um, I saw that. It was Pulse Man. Street Fighter Champion Edition and two more games. I don't remember what they were. Those are the only two I really care about. I've never actually really sat down and played Pulse Man, though. So that's what she said. Yeah. Sam, what's up, dude? Alright, so we beat the Rhino. Kid Chameleon. That's what it is. That's what it is. Um, I guess we're going to go after this guy. Yeah, because then we can go get um the the PPP. The original Spider-Man is coming to Disney Plus tomorrow. Or you just came in and heard OnlyFans. <laughs> now we were talking about it last night on the Resi 4 stream for a little bit. I saw that. All of them except for Far From Home and No Way Home are gonna be on Disney Plus, along with the Venom movie, the first one. Nobody wants to see Carnage movie, whatever the hell it is. 
super happy you're a subscriber. But subscribing to OnlyFans is where I gotta draw the line. <laughs> Wouldn't be in favor of last feet picks. Well, maybe if I can make a ton of money off of it. He would never know it's me though, so. I don't want to get fired from Facebook, though. <laughs> oh, you know what I forgot to do? Damn, I forgot to turn the AC down. Jeez. It gets really warm in here when the AC is not running at 74 degrees. Disney owns Spider-Man now, 100%. No, I don't think it's 100%. Well, they kind of do. They own Fox. But I guess that's more of a Sony thing. That's right. Spider-Man is owned by Sony. And Sony will not give up. Uh, Spider-Man, I can tell you that right now. Bah, bah, bah. Venmo, let there be Cash App, exactly. Which, because it's Venom, and because it's Spider-Man, they will get all that Cash App. As a single box set of all the Spider-Man movies, minus the Venom movies, yeah. I've bought those collections over the years, um, simply because, you know, I used to see them at Walmart and... I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool. It comes like a special box or some crazy cover art, and I'd buy it, you know? Sony's not going to give up their cash cow. No, they will not. Apparently, uh, Disney tried buying it back from them. They wouldn't They wouldn't budge. Tom Holland, he's stuck in the middle. Yeah, he is. Spider-Man makes Sony too much money. Yeah, look at the PlayStation games. You know? I'm just saying. What's up, Steve? Welcome in. Why would you even consider that, Adam, after being disgusted by Sonic feet picks? Because they're not... Because they're mine. <laughs> Disclaimer, I would never do that, by the way. I'm not shaming anyone just for, for being in that, but I would never do it. Disney's gonna buy Sony. <laughs> Good God, can you imagine? See, Zero does not benefit at all from that, but that's okay, though. Can you imagine if, so if Disney just said, F it, we're gonna buy Sony pictures? That'd be insane. Whoa. Look at this guy. Naughty, naughty. 2030 news. The Disney PlayStation 7 releases. Yeah, seriously. Actually, you know what? I can totally picture uh, Disney trying to buy out Sony Pictures and just, like, absorbing them. And just not using the name anymore. Because, I mean, Sony's a bunch of different divisions. They're not just Sony. So... Just saying. Maybe, yeah, maybe, like, exclusive partners... But I think Sony's too big of a company for that to happen. So is Disney. That would never happen. No way. Whoa, that was close. Look at this guy. He's being sussy. Let Sony bring the magic back to Disney, right? What's up, Steven? Welcome in, dude. After Light Axe Zero to take the part and pass it on to X. Can you just see X coming up to the capsule and the message telling him that Zero already got the part? That would be pretty cool, though. I don't think you can, though. I think the capsule disappears. He's let me play Contra. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, wait, Sony? They copyright you for that, uh, Gil? Or, wait, what? Sony would, or Disney would consume all. They probably would. They'd snap their fingers and destroy everything. What's up, Thomas? Oh, boy. What's up, Dave? Welcome in. Thank you guys for smashing the like button. I appreciate it. Every time you hit the like button, it saves a puppy in the world. Probably. I mean, probably not. I just... You know. He said yes. Wow! Oh, snap. Okay, uh... We gotta use... The tornado fang? Yeah, sure. Best creations of Stan Lee. A scene superhero has got some of the best rogues gallery at the top superheroes. The branding is just gold mine. That's very true. The copyright me for GTA 5. Well, were you playing the music from the radio, sir? I know. Put that smile backwards. I might be watching. I know. Okay, I can hit him with the drill. Oh, God. That was close. Because Zero has, like... No armor. Thank you, Austin. Appreciate the like. Yeah, get out of here, you punk. Whew, not sure if you saw my comment, but there was a heavy rumor Disney was going to be or buy the WWE. Really? You know what? Why do I think I remember that? I guess it kind of worked out that they didn't, you know? See that North Carolina is putting their name into the mix to try and get Disney World to move there? Really? Oh, amidst all the controversy about Disney being here. 
You know, honestly, I would not lose any sleep at night because I haven't been to Disney World since I was like nine, maybe. But it would be a significant loss of income for the state of Florida if that were to happen. Because we are a tourist state. Um, there's a reason why we don't have like certain taxes and stuff, and it's because of places like Disney. Because we make so much money in tourism. So, that'd be crazy. And scary at the same time. I always had mine to automatically turn on Blue Arc when I get into cars. Oh, Disney did own Power Rangers at one point? I remember that, yeah. Oh, I don't have this guy's weakness, so I gotta charge up. I wouldn't anyway, because it's the freaking... The, the crawfish weapon. I don't have that spinning plate, so... Oh, come on, dude. Really? Oh! You throw me off, dude, with bad patterns. Bad kitty, bad kitty. Oh! Oh! Of course he blocked it. Oh, come on! He hit zero and I'm too close? Oh my god, no way. Oh, jeez. There you go. Take that. Oh, that's not really a lot of damage. <laughs> well, it could be Vega. It could be his pet, his pet tiger with a light bulb for a tail. Now, if he gets me in the danger zone, then I'm going to be scared because, like I said, Zero doesn't have a lot of armor. Um, even when you get the armor upgrade for X, he doesn't benefit from that at all. What's up, Richard? Because Zero always has more health than X. Oh, jeez. Ah, Felipe, thank you for the follow. The mouse will own everything. Everything. I will consume all! I know that you guys know about Thanos, but do you know about Mousos? <laughs> Thank you, Gil, for hitting that like. Liking is caring. Yeah, the danger zone. A mouse is public domain now. Disney owns everything. South Park called it first. <laughs> That's true, even before The Simpsons did. Wait a minute, The Simpsons got absorbed by Disney. Must have been the only one to sleep through that. I mute my phone before bed. Yeah, see, okay, so Austin, apparently, uh, yeah, everyone got that Amber Alert at like quarter to five this morning. My phone's always in airplane mode. When I go to sleep at night, airplane mode. I do not let Discord bother me. I don't let Facebook notifications bother me. All that stuff is on airplane mode. No text, no calls, no accidental spam calls or anything. As I say, Disney owned Fox, so, you know everything insane i never thought we'd ever see the day of that happening like if you really think about that it's insane been on conversation i thought i already liked now nah, i just saw it come up it's okay man um we got that oh we have to go after beetle now right yeah beetle Yeah, we can go get the chip from this guy first, though. Let's go do that. I woke up at 5.45. Yeah, I didn't see it at all. Apparently, it was a test alert, which is just weird. I've never seen a test Amber Alert, though. The alert is that it was only a test. Yeah. The Beatles? Yes, the Beatles. I didn't know they can do just test alerts for that. I've never, like... Ironically enough, uh, I get Amber Alerts on my phone a lot, like most of you guys do, and they come in just fine. My phone was in airplane mode, like it usually is, and I literally did not get the test alert. But Austin said he got it when he woke up this morning. Take Sony, then Paramount, then Microsoft. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. It was an amber alert for the entire state of Florida, but it was a test alert, though. Weird. I don't know. Get up there, Mega Man. Fill up all the sub tanks. Ah! 
I'm under a severe thunderstorm warning. Oh my goodness. We need another thunderstorm here, man. It's been dry the last couple of days. We need some rain. All right, so I can't get the robot suit there, but I can get it from here, though. The ship, or you just go from, like right here. Make an ice block. It said, alert, this is just a test. Oh, really? Hmm. Like I said, I did not get it at all. Yeah, we got the K-chip. Woo! Garage is good now. Okay, good. That was easy. The guy was literally here for 10 minutes. So I took the initiative, guys, to pull these two cabinet things I have from the old house. I pulled them in here today, and I just got that all of a sudden. I need to uh, start decorating the game room soon. I can't wait. I'm going to make it happen. I just got to throw all my figures in them. I'm honestly, as dumb as it sounds, I might just leave them all in the boxes and just do that. Because for, like, dusting's sake, it's so much easier just to pick up the boxes and dust them off. Rather than take them out of the boxes and just have them pose and all that stuff. I ain't got no time for that. Yeah, we need rain so bad again. We need it real wet around here. Would you rather have a fixed salary or stars? Um, I mean, that's like asking if I'd rather live off of tips forever or actually get a committed salary. So I'm probably going to go with a committed salary. That's just me, though. ba 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 it's kind of like having subscribers. Subscribers is as long as people stay on and keep the green badge, that is a guaranteed help keep the blast page full time type of deal. What's up, Tommy? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. So I have to use. So I just beat him with zeros. So I got to beat him against uh, with X. Convince my wife to do that because she loves to open them and display them, and I leave them all the time. All mine in the box, they don't get ruined. That's a good idea. Well, I took mine out. See, like Reuven, he's 27 months in. It's crazy. And Reuven, I think I've I've got you what nine months now so far. I've been subbed to your page. Ben too. You and Ben, nine, ten months, I think. See, I, you know, at the old house, I had them like that. I literally um, had them posed, and but then I realized that it's a freaking nightmare. Uh, dusting all that stuff. So, my thought process is leave them in the boxes. It's so much easier just leave them in boxes. Like, I want to display them and pose them, but I gotta come back to that. Oh, I, I goofed this. I'm supposed to go to... Oh, no, I can, I can come back. I can come back. What's up, Jermaine? The Space Marines don't have boxes. No, 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 it's fine. They're actually sitting on my shelf next to Bowser. Support itch. Which open love. Glad to be here with you guys. Absolutely, man. Stars and subscribers supports Mr. B staying full time here as long as Facebook keeps the platform alive themselves. <laughs> I do too. I usually take my figures out of the boxes and I'll mess with them and pose them and whatever. And um, then I leave them out and then I put the boxes away. So, you know, how much of a difference is Honda from Acura? Uh, Acuras are more luxurious. No lie. I have, I've had Acuras, or I had an Acura before, and I love that car. Ugh. Other than Toyota, it's the only other Japanese brand of car that I actually would love to own. Talk about it now, or are we still waiting? Uh, the PR special? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Is that you, Sam, doing that to the star goal? Yo, my dude, thank you, man. Yo, what's up, Mike? We had a stars party. We didn't hit it. But Mackie's still the top star, so I'm okay with that. Luxurious Acura. I love Acura. Serious. It's the luxury line of, of Honda. Well, it's the American line of Honda, but it's still more luxury than a Honda is. Damn! <laughs> it saved my stomach from having to drink hot sauce today, so I'm okay with that. Uh, whoa. Easy there, buddy. My buddy likes his Nissan. See, um, like newer Nissans, I, I can't, man. In good conscience, I could never tell someone 
to buy a newer Nissan vehicle. Now, Infinity is still a good brand, um, which I know is dumb to say because, oh, Infinity is Nissan's luxury line, because it is. But Infinities are made in completely separate factories. Um, I just don't like their... Um, that CVT transmission, it's garbage. I've been a Kia guy. I, he has an R32 Skyline. Well, okay, that's totally different then. That, that's just it leagues above anything else. Dean with a thousand. He said, yo, check this out. Ow! Yeah. My dude. Thank you so much, man. For Yah Blast Family. Yeah. For Yah Blast Family. I know it's supposed to be for ya. <laughs> yeah, my dude, man. Look at this guy. He's jumping all over the place. Look at this guy. He's a little hopper. I have a Kia Forte, a Soul, and a Nero. Yeah, I can't own Kia either. I can't. My mother-in-law just got rid of her Kia. Um, I think she had it for like seven years or something like that. And the car was just literally falling apart. It came to a point where... Almost every dash light was coming on in this thing. And she took care of it. It's just... I mean, it, it gave her seven years. She just paid it off, like, two years ago, I think, or something like that. So imagine you pay off a car after a five-year loan, and then two years later, it's going to cost you thousands of dollars to get it back on the road. At that point, it's like, I might as well just buy another car. What's up, Donnie? Welcome in. I like Subaru for New England. Yeah, Subarus are great for the all-wheel drive system. Um, their motors are not so great. Unless you, I mean, I, you have to k take care of those things too. So Pontiac Montana and an 89 Chevy Cheyenne here. See, no payments though. Some people would rather not have payments. They'd rather drive an older vehicle and not have to have payments on the vehicle because like the average car payment right now, guys, is like $600 insane 600 a month that's include insurance and all that so and that's average there are people out there paying like a thousand dollars a month for a car can you imagine that i have a delorean but i can't drive it i keep it in the box <laughs> okay so we took out the beetle uh let's go after blast hornet and let's use zero for him see today they make gas cars illegal that ain't gonna happen man We'll probably be long dead before that happens. We'll all be in the ground. Or floating in the in the ocean somewhere. Who knows? Depending on what happens in the next 50, 60 years. Anything is better than a Tesla. <laughs> I don't know. I've never driven one myself. Um, generally about 60,000 miles on a Tesla. And you just... I am the hype! You just drop them anyway. You get rid of them. So... We outright bought these with cash. We got the Montana from our neighbors. Our neighbors for $500 and Cheyenne was $500 from a guy at a trailer park and River Road in Wheatfield. Yeah, see, there you go, man. If you've ever had a car payment, you'll know exactly how stressful that can be sometimes. So, my wife's taking a Tesla. I mean, you can, I guess. I mean, I would lease it before actually trying to own it. Modern age ain't no friggin' truck or car worth 80, 90K off the lot. I would never pay that much for a car. Unless I'm just that well off and it doesn't matter and I don't really care. Um, but nah, I ain't paying that kind of money for a car. No way. I live in Montana. <laughs> I said Joe Montana. Joe Montana was a quarterback, you idiot. I said Joe Montana. I'm told Teslas have weird brakes. I'm primarily a Dodge man. Don't judge me. Hey, Mopar is nice, dude. Honestly, if... Because I'd rather have, like, personally, as much as I love the Challengers and the Chargers, I just don't think I could drive one all the time. I'd rather go back and get a Camaro or a Corvette. I don't know. That's just me, though. Chargers are real nice. They are, man. I like them. It's just... Mopar motors are good. The interior quality is garbage. And I'll tell you that right now because working at Mopar as long as I did, I saw it all the time. Stupid stuff like door panels had a recall on them because the paint and stuff was peeling off of them or the, the finish. Glue was coming apart. It was just like dumb stuff. And But the motors are solid though. I can daily charge it but not a Challenger. They're almost the same size car though if you think about it. They're both boats. They're just nice to look at. 
And until you drive something like that, uh, it's you can't really gauge how strange it is to drive a car with such a large hood on it. Because I've driven Mustangs, I've driven Camaros, I've dailyed those, all of them. And the hood is the hardest part to get over, as dumb as that sounds. Whereas a Corvette, when you're looking out the windshield, it slopes down. Whereas Mustangs and Corvettes or um, Camaros, they generally kind of sit up and all you see is a hood scoop. It's just weird for some people. They never get used to it. The turtle van or the Batmobile? The van. The median income for most American families is about 50k a year. You're paying almost double your annual income for a new car or truck. Yeah. Isn't that insane, dude? Well, we've talked about it before, man. Just people who perpetually live in debt. That's what our system is designed to do. I feel like this should be a, su a subscriber uh, discussion during Kirby. <laughs> I will say for sure, though, playing Kirby today for a little bit. Um, I don't think I've ever met a person in my life who was in a bad mood playing a Kirby game. The music is just so... Uh, I just want to do... I don't know. I just want to, like, do jumping jacks and stuff and be happy. <laughs> One on dealership, they haggling you into debt for no reason other than it helps them make more money. Well, yeah, dude. You want to drive that really nice charger, don't you? What's that? Do you know all four tires in any Corvette are all different sizes? All four? No, they have their staggered wheels. Two in the front are smaller than the ones in the back. By that, uh, they're not as wide. The, the rear tires in the Corvette are wider in the back. Which makes sense. Just glad I own my two cars. Yeah, we own the Infinity. That's one less payment we have for a reliable vehicle. Saw a genius mod on DeLorean to have a Kia Stinger engine with the transmission of a Porsche 911. That's pretty cool, though. I'll hit him with the uh, the gravity here in a second. Oh, what's up, Frank? Ah! There we go. What's up, Chris? Welcome in. Oh. What the? Oh, he's stuck to me. Damn. Ah! What's up, Chad? Boss was so heated when she came back today. Oh, boy. Hey, man, I told you. Keep your head up, dude. You never know what's going to happen. People like that generally get themselves fired. So, Kia Nero is newly bought, so it's a newer car for you then. You down the road for me, had a DeLorean, and he put a Saab motor in his. Those things are invincible too, man. I learned the hard way, never buy from a roadside dealership. Roadside dealership? Like, oh, so, well, I mean, that's just, that's also, you could, you could also end up buying a Junker or Lemon from big dealerships too. It has to do with the offset of a Corvette engine having that longer front hood. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Plus, all the torque is going to the rear wheels, so. What's up, Luis? I had an 07. I love that car. Um, it was, like, I don't know. It was different. Uh, getting in and out of that car was a pain in the ass sometimes. Big Boss was write him up for anything and everything and get him out of there. Oh, you see? I told you. See? Shit just works out, man. The way it's supposed to. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Depending on what character you are, it changes from an X to a Z. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go back to Beetle. Ooh, excuse me. And we'll get the heart tank from here. That guy literally got himself fired, man. You didn't have to do anything. You just came in and did your job every day. A DeLorean would be a great car show, but not for practical normal driving. Agreed. Plus, uh, I don't have I don't have DeLorean money. At this point now, because of the way cars, the car market's going, um, it's a collector's piece. You don't daily drive something like that. It's just the damn truth. They don't go past 40 with their stock engine. Yeah, and then you blow them up. <laughs> Saved it. Um, trying to think of anything else. I don't think we're missing anything else. We need catfish. We need to get catfished to come back here and get the helmet upgrade. We're gonna do that. I think the Supra is overrated. Uh, yeah, I agree. The Supra became very popular, popularized because of Fast and Furious. 
Well, you can see where he was messing with everyone's hours, even his. Oh yeah, they always um, timestamp that stuff too. There's a hard copy of that. Carbon footprint. Anytime you ever edit time clocks. Oh yeah. Get money since he sold us the car. There you go. Oh, I gotta take on Vile as X. That's not bad though, because... X is way more nimble than Zero is in this game. Great, the car, uh, car, the Homer. I mean, the, what was that pink station wagon that Homer had? A unicorn would be a custom street rod. But not a daily driver, though. That's a car you just be like, you don't go to car shows. Do Yo, what's up, Sean? Welcome in, dude. Thank you for the uh, 50 stars, dude. Welcome to the stream. Bum, bum. Out of the two characters I get to use in this game, guys, drop either a blue or a red heart of who your favorite character is in this game. So blue is X, red is zero. I need to see that. And Phil with another 50 stars. Let's go. Welcome in, guys. Yeah. Roar. Trying to remember which actor had one, but when he tried to push it past 40 and blew the engine manifold and transmission. Holy crap, dude. Homer designed a car in an episode. Oh, I've always wanted to ride in the Mazda RX since it has a rotary engine. They're fun to drive in, but not own it. Damn, look at all them blues. Nobody likes Zero? What? How do you guys not like Zero? Or a Purple Heart if you like Vile. I made it clear that he was, it was going to be, if he was going to be allowed to stay, I'd be looking elsewhere for employment. Hey, that's how it is, man. Well, I'm glad things are working out for you, man. Just, uh, another week or so. John says Zero's my boy. Sam says, uh, Mega Man or X. Uh, Brendan, Steve, and Phil are all for zero. Catherine says, I like Mega Man more. Whoa. No, no love for, for Vile, huh? Because he's a Vile fiend. Love it. <laughs> I would say Axel, but nobody likes Axel. He's a pain in the ass. Terrible voice on him, too. I'm sure it's much better in the Japanese version of Mega Man, but ugh. All right, guys, should, should I let Vile live here or should I take him down here? I need a quick, I need a quick count here. Oh, I can't jump. He ain't let me jump. Zero gets Street Fighter moves from bosses. That's true too. He's not in the game, but I go for Rush. Yo, I'm gonna die here, guys. I need an answer. Who's that? Are we talking Streets of Rage now? <laughs> No mercy. All right, we're taking him out. Gray Splasher. Here we go. Oh! Going Cobra Kai on him. Finish him! <laughs> Take him out! So we're not going for the rematch later on. I'm taking him out right now. Ooh, that was close. I dodged those right away. Ooh. Yeah, got him. Woohoo! Sweep the leg. <laughs> Sweep his leg. His leg, brastu son. Bye, Vile. We'll see you. We'll see you again in Mega Man X8. I mean, Mandalorian. I mean, I don't know who the hell is he supposed to look like in Star Wars. Hold on, we're gonna fill up our stuff here. GG's, GG's. Get some health real quick. Should be some health here for me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. Boba Fay. This will be Boba Fay. <laughs> Hurry up, Mega Man! Get out of there! Go, Mega Man, go! We made it! I'm shocked that Rotten Tomatoes critics gave uh, better reviews than IGN did. Well, because you know what they say. You can't spell ignorant without IGN, sir. I almost said RGN. 
it actually wasn't bad at all. I kind of hope we get more of it. Um, even in the same style, I'm totally okay with that, man. Boba Feet. Boba Fett has his own OnlyFans. That's what happened, guys. It's called Boba Feet. Da, 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 da. Rush is Mega Man's dog. Yes, he is. Axel is basically the rapper of a Hershey's Kisses and Hugs. You throw it in the trash and enjoy X and Zero all the more. I know, but what sucks about X7 is you have to use Axel so much. You give him all the upgrades and stuff that X should have gotten. Getting a soft reboot in Season 4? Wait, why? What was wrong with... Wait, what? <laughs> Boba Feet. <laughs> Wait, why is he... Why is that show getting a, a reboot? Or a soft reboot? I'm probably gonna die here. Oh, nope, I got lucky. Sometimes I die there. Because they put the heart tank in a very asinine spot there. And you have to be very quick about um, pressing the jump button. Can you hear me, Axel? Ugh. I don't listen to reviews. Heard so many bad things about Step Brothers. I went and bought it. So great. See? Hola, senor. How was your day? Ugh. Good job, Mega Man. You did it. Superman 64 is better than X7. My stance is firm. <laughs> oh, Mega Man X7. Did just everything wrong. All to cash in on the craze. You would never think that the same company who made the legendary franchise as Resident Evil single-handedly destroyed Mega Man X with the one game. Because they never came back from it. Even with X8 being a step up in quality. Nah. He won't be the main focus going forward. Ah. Because of Pedro Pascal? Wait, what? What did, what did he do? Is he in controversy now too? Unloading the truck? That was my day. Ah. Oh. Sonic Boom is the god of bad games. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Wait, what did... Yeah, what did he do? I thought that guy was an angel, like Keanu Reeves. They were drunk when they created it. How about we get you to play some Star Wars pod racers? Oh, Jesus. I'm very nervous about Star Wars games because of copyright issues. Huh? No. Did you? I'll have to buy another one then. I was just testing this out to see how it works. Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa, 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 buddy. Did they fix the garage door? Oh. Oh, that's why I kept popping really loud. Holy. Okay, so how do we do that? We just spray it or something? Gotcha. And they make that for that too? Sorry, guys. I'll miss this blast off camera. <laughs> Wait, we have that left still? So you're talking about have the other stuff for lunch tomorrow. Oh, I see, I see. That's that's fine. Whatever you want to do. That's fine. Perfect. So how about uh, X7, the one that broke the series and made people stop being fans of it? It's why we still don't have X9 some 20 years later. That's true. Pedro Pascal just won't be the main character in the show. He's not leaving to my knowledge. Oh, okay. So he's not like... He's not pulling a Jonathan Majors, basically, on Disney. Got it. All right. That's cool. Nobody's better than Keanu. Remember, he told us we're breathtaking. That's true. What's up, Mike? Welcome in, dude. And if your thoughts on the news that Pokemon and new Mario games are getting NFTs in them, uh, I'm not a big fan of NFTs. I don't know where these companies are so blind that... They think that people like those things. Thank you, Ruben, for the double likes, man. Hi, Kirsty. Welcome in. What's up, Luis? GG's. Uh, it's been since the first episode. It's all about Grogu. <laughs> That's true, yeah. When you're the main bounty hunter, but a green alien gets all of the attention. What's up, donkeys? He's dead. Just so you guys know, if you haven't joined the Discord, here it is. I'm only putting it in the chat the way I do because Facebook seems to flag it as spam when Noxbot does it. 
So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. So if anyone is a subscriber and you're not in the Discord, or you plan to become a subscriber, but for now you just want notifications when I go live because Facebook notifications are unreliable, you can join our Discord. The problem people have exactly with NFTs, it seems greedy on the weirdest level. On one of the highest levels that it's greedy. So, like, Square Enix? Or was it Square Enix, I think? Or... I think it was Square Enix. They got lambasted for that. Oh, it was Konami. Konami. Did you know what Guardians Galaxy Christmas special? It was a very good show, yes. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go to here. I'll have to use X because Zero can't charge up weapons, so... Boom. Excuse me, Rockman. They look basura for how much the art is. Yeah, GameStop got freaking blasted for that too, but I mean, I guess you'll kind of do anything if you're desperate for money, so. Yeah, I never really understood the whole reasoning behind companies really pushing it. I mean, I guess money, that would be literally the biggest motivator, if anything at all. It's just the idea that you can make money off of stuff. Also, I think um, Konami just spat in the faces of all their fans when they were celebrating Castlevania. What, Castlevania's 30th anniversary by saying, oh, you can buy NFTs <laughs> for Castlevania. It's like, what? <laughs> no, I fell again. I am. Um... Yeah, it was a good show, man. We liked it. It was a lot of fun to watch. Some people being so upset about them. It's just digital art. It, yeah, it is just digital art. But when companies get greedy and start charging money for something that I can find on the internet. Plus, the other problem is too, Eric, is that it leads to another avenue of people scamming other people. That's the problem. Um, like... It's insane. It's just another avenue for people to scam other people, and it sucks. That's exactly what was happening. NFTs, National Football Television Services? No, sir. You know what NFTs are. I forgot what it means. NFTs is a non... Uh, non-fungible or something. It's non I don't remember what it is. I'll be honest, I had to look up what an NFT was. Yeah, I can't remember it. Non-fungible... I can't remember the word, the acronym, what it means. NFTs first came out and the CEO had his first NFT stolen. Yeah, the irony, right? The irony. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, good job, Mega Man. You got all the helmet pieces. This one's completely useless. Yeah, non-fungible token. Fungible? Fungible? Couldn't think of what the T was. I think it's non-fungible, fundable token. It's literally a, I own this piece of art because I paid money for it. You know where else it gets messy, I think, too, is now that, let's say, NFTs are making some type of comeback, uh, AI art is also a really big thing. So I feel like there was an article, I think, that um, there was some artist who won an art contest. Like, he got first place. For his piece of exquisite art and after he won he admitted that it was actually a piece of ai generated art it wasn't something he created and he won first place on it so yeah non-fundable non-fungible means something is unique can't replace there you go non-fungible token there you go thank you guys you guys are smarter than me you know this stuff better than i do oh crap i need to be wait am i supposed to be zero or mega man who did I just beat the level with? Um, we just got... I gotta be zero. That's right. Gifts can be NFTs now. Non-funny treatment. Yeah, exactly. Oh, crap. That hurt. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. Get out of there. He said, well, okay then. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I have to be Mega Man because I can't use charged weapons to break the floor. Yeesh. Yeah, it's uh, stupid, man, is what it is. Bah, 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 bah. So yeah, it, it's it's a really weird, messy thing to have to deal with. 
because again, unfortunately, we live in a world where people just, some people just live to scam good people. Um, I didn't realize that a lot of live streams on TikTok are actually scams. I had no idea. And all it is is just people using pre-recorded footage that's not actually live claiming something and people for some reason give money to this person when they're not even doing the work. It's unbelievable. Can't be copied wrong day one people were doing it. Of course. And like I said, we live in a world now where uh, anything can be generated through AI, whether it's voices or art or anything. It's scary. I just find it ironic that AI art and things like that are at the peak of where they're going to be for a little bit. And it's actually... I mean, at least six months to a year from now, stuff will be, like, almost perfected on a consumer level. And now these NFTs are making a return. We didn't really talk about NFTs for the longest time. Some companies doubled down on it way back in the day, and others are like, yeah, we're, we're out of the game because people hate it, and we don't need a bad rap right now, you know? Hell, people are still pissed off about microtransactions in video games. <laughs> like the Terminator, exactly. When the average person does it, it's a scam. When a company does it, it's called providing a service of goods. Yeah, isn't that ironic? Oh, that was close. He almost got me. Yeah, that, that thing hits zero, then he loses a ton of life, so I don't know why I came back up to get that. Oh, you punker. And I hate punkers. I don't know why he did that. There you go. Give him my doubles. What's up, Andy? Welcome in, my dude. Finally out of work, sir? Or did they cut your hours again today because they're sussy? Companies are people too, Ruby. <laughs> That's right. Bill Gates is Microsoft, right? He's a robot and a person. I think it's because I watch too much of uh, Moist Critical on YouTube. He does a lot of, like, cover stories about drama and uh, things happening around the internet and stuff. And listen to that guy way too much sometimes he has a lot of good points though charlie's very good at his uh his stories i did give you a double serve well thank you ruby oh he's home now okay good um it's the triad thunder that's right we need john connor sword can sword only run sucks for a challenge but for like this game right here i think it'd be possible if you could only use the the, the z saber you have to charge it up every time to use the z saber Cut it out, you freaking shrimp. Let me go! <laughs> Ow, you little mother. Damn, dude, it can't even touch his tail? Well, he's being super sus because he's not moving from that spot. And I used up, like, all of my Triad Thunder. Yankees up 5-0 in the Angels. On the Angels in the fourth inning. Damn! Tell him just to go home. Unbelievable. He literally just threw me against the wall. I was not expecting him to move. He was supposed to be doing that the whole freaking fight. Very sus. Now I gotta do this the hard way. You can do this the hard way or the easy way. There you go. At least the Z Saber does a decent amount of damage. Ironically enough, I didn't take a single hit of damage. What's up, Jason? What's up, Peter? His tail is his no-no square. <laughs> Yeah, I literally took no damage from him that time, and I barely used his weakness against him. 
you go into a Mega Man fight knowing you need their weapon because it's their weakness. Took all that damage because he did not move from his spot. Usually he moves back and forth, makes it a little easier to kind of strategize where you want to go. I go into that fight again after dying and I didn't take a single hit of damage and I barely used his weakness. Also, Zero uses double the amount of weapon energy than X does. I, I, that's just sussy. Wow. Super sus. Hambaga. Hambaga sounds really good. Combo breaker! Mackie, I know you were happy today to see Glacius. Uh, Glacius took down uh, Hisako on today's video. I was happy to see him take her down, too. She didn't stand a chance against Glacius, man. If you guys haven't seen the KI video <clears throat> that I uh, posted this morning, yowza. Insane. Thank you, Casey, for the likes. The glorious Glacius. His name is Kane, and he uses a cane, yes. Ba 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 da 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 Guys will never kill Sigma. Capcom has to do that. What's up, Robert? Welcome in. I made sure I sent you a pick of the biscuits and grape the other day. Dude, they were amazing. I need to get some biscuits and grape. Who's playing Glacius? That was the AI, bro. I put the AI on the hardest difficulty and I let them duke it out, man. That's how I do's it. Is that it? We're good? Okay. Mavericks are done. Anything to report, Dr. Kane? Yes, I am secretly the main villain. <laughs> Makes it ten times better. Sigma's even in Marvel's Capcom. He is. He is. He's always behind something. Happy Thursday. Doesn't feel like Thursday, guys. Today feels like something between Wednesday and Thursday, but not Thursday. I don't know. My whole week is messed up. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Come on. Oh my god, I almost died right there. That would have sucked. There we go. Woo, got him. Stream is soothing? Well, that's a weird way of putting it, but yeah, thanks, man. Ugh. Get up there, Mega Man. Thank you. See, I think... Uh... Okay, so I think deep down that was supposed to be retconned into the story where Dr. Kane actually dies in after the first or before the first X game because maybe he planned on doing an actual series of remakes from at least one, two, and three. But when you let the guy only put his remake on the PSP... When the DS was outselling it, probably like three to one, you know. Thursday, Thursday, yeah. See, BPQ says here is my 53 stars. <laughs> Did you? You made it even? No. Freaking zeros. <laughs> Feels like Wednesday, probably because I have to work on call Saturday. Boo! Happy faux 20. That's your thing, man. Yeah. Some homemade beef pot pie at this month's luncheon at the local park, along with a piece of chocolate brownie pie and lemonade Hawaiian punch. Damn, that's very detailed and sounds amazing, sir. Show us the guts, man, bootay. All right, here we go. Yeah, thank you. We're gonna use um frog armor. Yeah. Why is she sending cake stars, though? I know I was zero. Ha <laughs> ha, ja, ja, ja. I'm so glad they fixed this armor to walk and not, like, hop the whole time. It makes it pre pre pretty much useless. Nobody likes the frog armor in the original game because it hops everywhere and it's super slow. It's literally the frog suit of Super Mario 3 in the original game. And this one, it walks like a normal robot does. 
That's what I thought too, because the only other thing that made sense was that Doppler was disguised as Kane to trick X. Yeah, they probably could have uh, ran with that had the remake been able to do its thing, but you know. I don't know. Just... Andy says 112.690 to hit the monthly goal. Oh my goodness. Thank you, BPQ, for the likes. Alright, what is uh we have a little bit of sub tank left. Let's get that filled up real quick. Dang -a -dang. Michael Jackson Moonwalker for the Genesis. I absolutely love that game, dude, believe it or not. I love it more than the arcade version. This is how you know the gold armor is very OP. <laughs> You just stand there and your sub tanks get filled up. I don't think those things kill you, but they're spiky, so I don't want to risk it, you know? Arcade version was good. Yeah, it is good. It is good. It was actually a pretty good game. It's totally different from the Genesis, though. What's up, Gary? Welcome in. It's bad. <laughs> Keep it supreme. They really did kind of screw the proverbial pooch when they started porting the games and then put the pooch down with X7. Yeah, X7's pretty bad, man. What did you do if just randomly came across a Mega Man chamber like that? Um, I'd step in it. Knowing what those things would do? Yeah, I'd step right in it, man. Give me an upgrade. That's what I say. All right, yep. Do your little... No... Dead Island 2 finally reset so many years in development hell. Hopefully it doesn't end up like the Duke Nukem Zero of uh, development hell games. Ouch. Fantasia for Sega? Um, I don't know if I've played that one. I know I've played the, um, was it Castle of Illusion? That was actually a good Disney game. One hour and a half of Michael Jackson's videos with Joe Pesci. Yeah, basically. It's a good game, though. Early previews are giving it a solid score. Okay, all right. It's like a pretty cool game, though. I actually probably wouldn't mind trying it out, considering that the game seems completely different from the original. I didn't really care for the first Dead Island, so. Ooh, get away from me. Remember what you are playing for subs this evening? Uh, yeah, tonight's Kirby. Are you going to be there? Ugh. Are you going to be on that sub stream, Kirby? I got the Blu-ray. What's up, John? Welcome in. Certain games had Thriller song on it. It was weird because, uh, well, the early releases of Moonwalker had Thriller. However, because apparently Michael did not own the rights to that song, he um, had to take the song out. And they replaced it with another part of me, I think it was called. So the one with um, Thriller, that Genesis cartridge with Thriller as the soundtrack, uh, literally needs to, it's 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 super rare. So Castle of Illusion, a Mickey Mouse game, Andy. <clears throat> Making sure you didn't forget. No, 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 I won't forget. The first Island game was pretty average. Hard to get excited for another, and that's been in dev hell. Yeah, apparently it's completely different. Thank you, Chris, for the 11 stars, man. I'm still here. I got Kirby in the Forgotten Land all working for later today, guys, so. I have to make sure I switch back to X before I do that fight. Oh, wait. I don't know. I don't think... I don't think I have to worry about that guy in this one. Zyl, is that how you say your name? Thank you so much for coming to the stream. 113, 679. It's like a countdown. It's the final countdown. Dinner, dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Kirby and the I Forgotten Land. <laughs> That's me. I forget stuff all the time. I have a very, very bad short term memory. Uh, I just want to make sure. Because I don't know if it plays out the same way as it does in the original. If you let Zero come in here. Play Lion King? Ugh, no. 
I see you do fight this guy here. Lion King is a rough game, man. I couldn't... Well, I, I, I did play that game a lot when I was a kid. But it's, uh, it's a rough game, man. It's tough. Where is the MJ game of Capcom EO? Wait, Captain EO? Is that what that says? Yo, what's up, Jimmy? Or Captain EO? I've never heard of that one. Right, we'll get out of here, and then we'll get Zero back in the game. It was. It was a tough game, man. It actually wasn't that bad, though. I guess that's a good thing, though, is that Lion King is not a bad game. It's just balls difficult. Like, I get it. The game is very short. That's why it's so difficult. It broke many kids' souls. I know. I had it for the Genesis back in the day. It was a solid game, but yeah, it was rough. Yeah, dude. Like I said, it wasn't a bad game. And difficult doesn't make it bad at all. Um, it controlled really good. Um, it's just a hard game. That was a game that they made so that you couldn't just rent it as a kid. You had to actually buy the damn thing. So... Play NES Aladdin. Yeah, no, I'm good with that. <laughs> Captain EO was a Disney Park movie ride with MJ. Oh, I didn't know that. I had no idea. And we just got a raid. Yo, what's up? Old guy ADD. Thank you guys for coming in. Grinch on PS1 was pretty tough too. I never played that one. I played that one. Balls difficult, yes. If you have any idea how difficult balls can be, then yeah. <laughs> Don't touch them spikes. I'm gonna try not to, man. Where a dad left a note saying, if you beat this game, you earn the right to have a PS4. Without save states and everything else that goes with it. Uh, who was that like? Was that John? Thank you so much, man. Pretty sure I saw that name. Once we couldn't buy it, had to rent it more than once. Yep. That was like the thing back in the day. What's up, Travis? Welcome in, dude. Oh, mother fudge. No, 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 no. We're going back on that. No, 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 no. Welcome in, Raiders. I'm not taking that defeat. Wait. Okay, so why wouldn't he double jump? Uh, okay. Wait a minute. I'm pressing the A button to... to what? That was weird. Why wouldn't he air dash? I'm literally pressing the button to double jump and or air dash. That's weird. Hey, Chris, what's up, dude? It was the actual console and game in the meme, so no safe states. There you go, yeah. Good luck. That is very sus. I never... I was pressing the jump button or the dash button to get across there. It's weird. Super Metroid? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, Super Metroid... It's not hard for me. I like that game. It's not a difficult game, though. Damn, dude. Ooh, this guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> my mom used to scream at us all the time. There, It would always be, like, behind those weird curtain things. My mom would be like, stay away from that. <laughs> And we knew it pissed her off. That's why we did it. Because, you know, we were kids. If you're not triggering your parents when you were a kid, then you were doing something wrong. <clears throat> and make them beat the whole collection. They'll never ask me for another video game ever again. I guarantee that. They have to beat Lion King, Battletoads, and... I think of one more difficult game back then. Ninja Gaiden. You know what? Give them an easier difficult game. Give them Castlevania. How about that? That's it. What's up, Roy? Next level will be X. Oh, I can't switch. No, F it. I'll just I'll beat I'll beat this as zero. What ifs, yo? Bon bon. Game is 86. I was born 84. And I still have yet to beat any Contra game. Really? I beat Contra. I gotta use the code though. I can't. Rocks on a stove. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were doing some bad stuff as kids. Maximum Carnage, man. That's another game that... 
It's not a bad game. It is difficult. It's incredibly difficult. And I don't know why for a beat em up game, it is very difficult. The game should not be that hard. Double Dragon's the same way. Uh, well, at least part three anyway. Oh no, BMK2 on my first try. Damn, okay, Mr. Flexer. Mr. Flexy. Oh, I should've just double jumped. Is the toughest Metroid subjective? Yes, very subjective. I would say that from what I understand, the hardest Metroid game is Dread. Because of the, uh, the, the robots that can literally unalive you. What's it, what's the robot called? The robot that literally just gets a hold of you from the beginning of the game and just unalives you instantly. Oh yeah. They grab you by the arm and start smacking you in the store without cheat codes. Emmy, there you go, Emmy, yeah. So Emmy literally just unalives you instantly. I know later on in the game you get an upgrade so you can at least fight back. Um, but yeah, no, I think that's the only Metroid game off the top of my head that actually has a boss or mid boss character or whatever that constantly is after you and can kill you in one hit. Yeah, there's more than one of those. I do know that. Final boss in Dread is also OP, so there you go. So are we all in the same boat then that uh, Dread is the hardest Metroid game? There you go, take that damage. Rocks on a stove, what about stones in a fridge? No, 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 no. You missed that combo, Ashley. Mackie used to, well, he did, I don't know if he just did it, you know, like chronically, or if he just did it once and his mom beat him with a belt. <laughs> but he put rocks on the stove in his kitchen and literally almost set his house on fire because of it. So yeah, that, that was the story. <laughs> don't you dare. Oh, you know what? Silver Surfer is a tough game. If you don't know what you're doing, apparently there's really easy strategies for it. Um, but yeah, that's a tough game too. Oh, where literally everything one-shots you. That's true too. Dread mode, yeah. Chozo and their origins and what kind of lives they had and stuff. Until Metro or Metroid. Until Samus came along and ruined it for them. It wasn't really her. It was the Metroids that were doing that, but... I don't know. It it's really depends on what side of the story you want to be on for that. Oh, yeah. I think, um... When was that conversation, guys? Was that last night during the substream? I don't remember when that was. Day before? Was it Tuesday night substream? The Ananuki stories I heard when I was growing up. The bird people. Oh. I never even thought of that. Uh. Ooh, that was close. Weather in London has been unusually cold. Not here, man. Send some of that cold air this way. It's 87 degrees right now. And it's 530. <laughs> 530. It's 87 degrees here. It's insane. Oh, it was a science experiment. He wanted to see how long it would take for him to burn his house down. <laughs> Oh no, he's throwing sparkles. Ah! He literally absorbs all of your attacks. Yeah, okay, throw your little shiny sparkles. Yeah, get him. Oh, shiz. 83 here it needs to be. Yeah, it is. it's hot, man. It was very hot today. You know when you're outside just long enough and you can smell your hair burning? <laughs> it's insanely hot outside. I'll pick up the kiddo. I'll be back in a few. Sounds good, man. I'll be here. Turned out to be a woman and not a man. And the only reason everyone found out was because the suit, Zero Suit. Yeah, Justin Bailey. Seventh Saga. Oh, I've heard of that game. Is that an RPG or something? Bum, 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 bum. What's up, Charles? Bum, 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 bum. 
OG Metroid really helped define open world type gaming. Yeah, actually, OG Metroid is a really tough game, too. What's the speed run record on Metroid? Like, a legitimate speed run for OG Metroid. Without glitches and save states and whatever else. Do I think of that? I have no idea, Luca. I don't keep up with that stuff. 47 is the high today for me. Damn, yeah, 87 here, man. It's hot over here on the Sun Coast. OG Metroid. Second hardest Metroid is OG, okay. Get some news and new trailers for the 37th anniversary in May. Mm, that seems like a weird number to get some good news about a, a game franchise. 37 years? If anything, you guys won't get anything until the 40th anniversary. It's an RPG. It was difficult because it's like classic. Oh, gotcha. So you go against all odds and stuff like that. That was actually a good game though, Jesse. But again, people often kind of go with, oh, if a, if a game is difficult, then it must be bad. But um, yeah, that Batman game is awesome. Ah, oh, freaking drills. Oh, you punker. Ugh. Oh, whoa, wait, yo, wait. There you go, got him. Remember fighting from fighting them clowns? They just keep coming at times. Oh, and Batman, yeah. Fusion is one of the more easier Metroids. Yeah, it's except for that one fucking boss that I had to fight. That boss sucked. But yeah, I definitely say that's one of the easier Metroid games for sure, man. Awesome game until you fight Joker. Yeah, then you want to throw your controller against the wall. Uh, Travis, this is X3, but it's a ROM hack. It's called uh, the Zero Project. What's up, Brian? Oh, look who it is. The freaking shrimpy guy. <laughs> yeah, you literally have to mash the D-pad to let him, get him to let go of you. Hit him with the Z-saber. Let go of me. Yo, what's up, Jake? Get out of here. I'm going to put you in my hibachi. Give you a map or directions. You just had to wander around and collect all your gear and loot. Find your way to the bosses and then mother brain and beat her and then escape up the shaft of tiny ledges and frozen enemies if you have the ice beam. But what if you didn't have the ice beam? Can you not escape? You're telling me a shrimp uh, fried his rice? Yes. Splat him with tartar sauce and cocktail sauce. That, that sounds good, though. All right, yeah, we're going to do that because that, that's good. I'm doing good today, man. How are you? Welcome to Le Stream. Oh, really? Come on, dude. You're going to hit me. I'm all the way over here in the corner. So he bare. Oh, wait. Barely missed. Well, I, well in, in the Japanese version, in X3, they call him Scissor Shrimper. So I'm going to go with the fact that he's a shrimp. <laughs> Even though shrimp and crawfish, they're not too far removed from each other. Uh, but yeah, for some reason in this game, he's a crawfish. In the Japanese version, he's a shrimp. So I don't know. Oh, that should have hit him with the overhead swipe. Come on, game. You should have the screw attack. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrimp does sound really good, doesn't it? It's been a while since I had some shrimp. I'm supposed to get some hibachi tomorrow, so maybe I'll get shrimp. Shrimply pimples? Yes. <laughs> Playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! My emulator, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! that. Speaking of shrimp, Red Lobster got a new Cajun shrimp trio thing. Ugh. Can't do Red Lobster, man. It's just... I don't know. We have... So, you know what it is? Because around here where I live, 
we have a lot of local seafood places that I'd rather eat at than Red Lobster. So, but it's also insane how long the local Red Lobster has been in business where I live. But we have so many local seafood restaurants that do way better food. Hit the wave beam and just go ham on them. Hibachi, manana. Hello, Mr. Daniel. Welcome in, sir. How was Dinkleberg? Oh, it's Dinkleberg. I don't know why he's going to say anything else other than it's, it was Dinkleberg. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't get that reference. I just thought the word shrimply pimples was hilarious. Joe's Crab Shack. Oh, I think we have one of those here, too, I think. But we also have a lot of local places, especially where all the beaches are. There's a lot of local seafood places. They make very good food. Hitachi. <laughs> You like the TV? What's up, Dustin? Play Metroid because it's upgraded bus use wave beam, basically. Uh, Dinkleberg is shite, as always. Of course it was. Get out of here, you toxic seahorse. Oh, it's from Rick and Morty. That's why. I don't watch that very often, if ever. Oh, Rick and Morty. See, I grew up with Ren and Stimpy, even though Rick and Morty is kind of like the same type of cartoon. Um... Even the creators both live very similar lifestyles. <laughs> Been a Joe's Crab Shack, but now it's a Oh Crab Cajun. Hmm. Cajun food is delicious. Anything with like Cajun seasoning on it, all that stuff. Yo, it's good stuff. Mrs. Blast makes a amazing, um, what's it called? Uh, gumbo. Holy God, it's so good. It's so good. We haven't made it in a while just because like, it's a lot of prep and all that stuff. A lot of cleanup. Oh, damn. We're going to do this the hard way, aren't we? I messaged this girl lyrics from an early 2000s emo song called Ohio is for Lovers, and she thought it was real and confused her love for me. How awkward. <laughs> what? Yikes. Oh, he pulls fucking health back up. I love Brendan Snippy too, man. All right, so I have to wait to hit him with the lightsaber? I mean, beam saber? Oh, okay. Never mind. No, I said gumbo. I didn't say jumbo. Oh, okay, so I can hit him when he's throwing his energy beams at me. Sweet. Got it. Because I sure as hell can't hit him when he's doing that. Now, I could just hit him with... Uh... Oh, you punk. I could hit him when he's doing the, the beam attacks. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Stimpy, you idiot! What are you doing? Gumbo. Yeah, why would I say jumbo? Mrs. Blast makes a really good jumbo. <laughs> no, I said gumbo. Got it. Oh, damn. Okay, he doesn't even take attacks. <laughs> oh, look at you. Trying to get all crafty on me. risk that. He'll lift his life right back up again. Travis with the follow. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate that, man. Jump over that. Finally able to relax. Six, 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 six. Okay, you really can't hit him when he's using that fire. What? So they changed it. So do that. Oh, wow. It actually worked. He t so he tanks the damage and then he fills his health back up. Whereas there, he didn't have the damage to tank, so that works. He was Sigma for a second. Chicken and shrimp jambalaya, you are welcome. Yo, I love that stuff. It's so good. The spiciness, the flavors, it's all good. Follow age, what's mine? 1702. 1702. And if you guys... Want to join the Discord we have as well? Just to get notifications, you can do that. Um, 
want to become a paid subscriber, you'll get full access to it. You basically level up your Discord experience if you'd like to. But there's the Discord. You don't have to be a subscriber to join it. But you'll get full access to it if you become a paid subscriber. Bing. Oh, you know what? I gotta switch characters. I gotta be X for this one. I mean, I could be zero. What's up, Marcus? Did I beat the game last time as X or zero? You know what? We'll see if we can fight him as zero. Oh, God, excuse me. to be it's going good man how are you sir we'll fight him as um as uh zewo oh you know what i didn't save it the right part whatever oh really the thing is you can't swap characters in this one once you're in here you're stuck as that character it's all about preference. I'll take both. I'm cool with that. Chris got 225 days. You go ahead and destroy Sigma's body. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. I'll do that all by myself. I don't know how he was able to do that. He was not charging at all. Zero is a little bit more difficult um, simply because of the damage he takes. It's a lot more than Mega Man's. But we'll see. OWR. Well, if it isn't zero, it was easy to corrupt that fool Doppler. And I would have succeeded if it wasn't for you meddling maverick hunters. But our paths always seem to cross, don't they, Zero? Let our rivalry continue. That's one way of putting that. All right. Actually, he's way harder with red zero. Without the black armor zero, my god, he is such a nightmare. Oh god. Yeah, sub tanks won't even fill his whole life bar. Now, the black armor does make a difference for him. Like, it does give him more, a little bit more chance to tank some attacks. Oh, thank you. Hit him. Woo! Now, red zero in this fight is... Oh, God, it's a nightmare. It is possible to beat him as zero, but good lord. Captain America Sigma. Black armor is the only up armor upgrade he technically gets. Yes, I wish I could find a place that sells Lebanese food here. Oh, damn. I don't think... Um, I don't think we have anything like that here either. A couple of Indian places, though. Um, their food is delicious. It's just uh, not too many places around here that sell that. Poor Sigma. <laughs> Poor Sigma. He's the bad guy here, damn it. I'm the good guy. Or am I? Does Zero have an identity crisis? Oh, okay. That was smart. Yeah, just uh, dash right into him. That's cool. Oh, boy. Supposed to be easier with a double jump, damn it. Those missiles, be careful. Zero made him bad, though. No, no, no. He was bad on his own. It was not the Zero virus that made Sigma a bad guy. Holy missiles. Yeah, see, guys? The Hambaga stream doesn't work, even though the, the bot replies. Yeah, it's on, dude. Here, I'll turn it back off, and I'll turn it back on. There we go. Capcom be cheating. You see how much damage that missile did? Oh, no! There you go. There you go. He's dead. 
Coke Zero's control crystal. He was infected with the Zero virus. I don't... Okay, so that may be true, but it doesn't mean that he's gonna be a... He's, he became a bad guy because of the Zero virus. Sorry, I meant to add more to that conversation. Im impossible! I can't even defeat you with this magnificent body that I worked on. There seems to be only one choice now. I'll possess you! I think Sigma still made that choice because even Zero was able to make the choice of what he wanted to do. He let his emotions take over and then basically just became a bad guy because of it. Yeah. Run away from him. Woo! Justice for Sigma. <laughs> But it transferred from Zero to Sigma, so he didn't have it all anymore while he messed up with that virus and never should have programmed Zero with it. Because he put the evil energy into Zero, that's why. That's where that little connection is right there. Damn it, there's no way out. <laughs> You're mine, Zero. Give up. I'll possess your body and rule the whole world until you become an outdated Reploid, as they called him in Mega Man Zero. What's up, E? So, was Sigma right? Was Thanos right? It makes you wonder. Wu Tang forever? Oh, wow, that's random. When Sigma found Zero and reactivated him, Zero woke up a lunatic straight attacking him. How was Zero? He's Zero. You're a Mega Man. You're an E. <laughs> X, it's... it's you, again! How's that, Sigma? But see, Day of Sigma technically doesn't happen anymore, because it's been retconned. Doppler gave me the anti-Sigma virus program and used it on my buster. Whoa, alright. Thanos was right, he was trying to save the world from ending. Sorry about the wait, Zero. I thought the program might be the only thing that would stop Sigma. My program is fading. But someday I will. So technically it didn't kill Sigma. It just broke him up into little tiny pieces. He had to put himself back together. Because Sigma is a living AI. Which is... <laughs> What's Ligma? Slippy, no! Ligma balls! The averages were the real villains of the Infinity Saga. The averages? <laughs> Monsieur Pascal, welcome into the last part of the stream. You guys are getting here at the last part of it. That's okay, though. You guys will be there for the subscriber stream. Playing some Kirby. Coworker's birthday. The averages. La 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 ba, 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 ba. Be, be, be. la 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 Has the double anniversary follower badge? I see one badge on you, sir. G G G G G G G G All I see is a top fan badge on this side. Tang hand signal. Wily created Zero to kill Mega Man and succeeded, but he also mortally wounded Wily when he tried to shut him down because the virus took over, rewriting Zero's programming and making him a straight lunatic. Hey, Nan, welcome to the stream. Uh, as it is two years on it. Oh, I see what you mean. It just shows top fan on my side, donkeys. I don't know. Facebook sus with the badges. The only thing it ever shows is the subscriber badge, which I don't. It's fine, it should. That's pretty cool. It actually puts the person in front who finished the game. I like that. Losing a life with Zero in the X3 hack, you don't lose him for the rest of the game. Oh, thank goodness, because I really couldn't live without myself if that was the case. Kirby is better than Mega Man. Wow. Thick is second best Sigma. Wait, Thick? <laughs> what? Ba, 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 ba.
What's up, John? Welcome into the last part of the stream. But I promise I'll be back, guys. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I'm actually kind of excited to play that. I haven't played it in a while, and um, running it straight through uh, Yuzu is pretty awesome. Click on your badge and go to the two-year and make sure you have it enable people to see it. Ah, there's a thick Sigma. Which one's that one? Yeah, see, from my side, all I see is um those. John with the 513 stars. Made it evens? What in the Forgotten Land? Kirby! Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It evolved, and then when Sigma was damaged, fighting Zero, he broke Zero's crystal. Star goal looks off. <laughs> it's 67.95% or 237834. All right, hold on. Uh... The virus jumped from zero to Sigma and did to him what it did to zero. Cause remember, Kane told Sigma that X was programmed differently than any other reploid, but he used X's design to create more reploids based off of X. But did he use the AI from X or I'm confused then. So I became the Sigma virus, but later was referred to as the zero virus again. Mm -hmm. So that's better. 237834. 803 days of follow age. Nice. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Bah, 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 bah. You play ce soir? Ce soir. At 7 p.m. Well, close to it. I'm going to have dinner first, and then I'll be back on. Did I see it? Uh, The birthday party one? That's the one I saw. Uh, Thick Sigma. Oh, yeah, I saw that with the zero. If he dies, he doesn't actually lose. He doesn't die, die. He comes back. Bum, 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 bum. Because worrying isn't a thing for Reploids other than X and Zero because they were programmed differently. But it makes you wonder. Okay, okay, he used a different form of the AI. Ah, okay, okay. So... You would think he'd want to make them more like people then. Like, Kane made a big mistake. Because if it's just a robot, because a lot of them just look like robots, he should have literally made them like humans so that you could reason with them. Because he designed Sigma as well. You would think that he would have designed him... No, not in the hack. Yeah, in the original game, you do lose him. But he should have, like, designed him more with human-like emotions using one of their programs so that you could reason with him so that Sigma wouldn't have started a war against the humans. Right, so, but if he had designed them with, let's say, X's or even Zero's AI, then he should have, they should have done that so that he could reason with Sigma, like, hey, let's talk this out. We don't need to have a war with the humans. What's up, Paul? Keeping it odd in here. Yeah, my dude. <laughs> you guys are coming in up in the last minute on this stream. But I promise I'll be back in a little bit. We're going to play some Kirby after that, so... Press any button to save. All right, we're going to save it. Let's go over to that last file. Um, so I've I've beaten this game 10 times. Wow. Thank you, Monsieur, for the 19 stars. You're making it... Wait, is that... Is that odd again? <laughs> That's all I got. We're just shy of two hours. That's okay, though. Way more reasonable that way because he would be able to rationalize the whole situation, understand he was doing the wrong thing. See? Yeah. So, Kane... Kane... Dr. Kane is the is the problem in this series. I'm telling you, man. Well, now that he's unalive, it doesn't even matter anyway. But still. Still. All right, guys. That's going to do it for me on this public stream. Make sure you uh, support subscribers, supporters, whatever you guys want to be called. Tune in. Do the subscriber stream coming up in a little bit. I'm going to be back with some Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And uh, it's going to be fun. I tested it out on Yuzu and it works wonderfully. So it uh, should have been the game the way the game should have run on the Nintendo Switch. But Nintendo likes running their games on seven-year-old hardware. But whatever. So everyone else, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern. Oh, God. That's just, oh, just burping. Just air. So... Guys, have a wonderful evening. I'll see you soon. Thank you, uh, Chris, for the last 11 stars of this stream. Dean is the top star. Yes, my dude. And I'm going to end the stream so Dean can get a, a spot in the giveaway this month. You guys are awesome. 
Thank you so much. Subscribers, I'll see you guys soon. Everyone else, see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. Have a good oh night, God. and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Hembaga.